basically busted right off the knuckle. Alrighty everybody. Got a little project here to work on in the shop today. It's a VW with a mechanical pump. Little baby turbo. That's a little baby turbo. Look how little that thing is. Such a little thing. Anyway, um, this thing's got a fuel leak at the back side of the pump. Also, I'm going to look and uh, see when the last time the timing belt was done. We might put a timing belt in it, but uh, today's project, and I'll show you how you can replace the uh, O-ring in the back side of this pump without removing it. So, there's a little trick to doing that. A lot of people have these on their Dodge trucks. This is a four-cylinder version, but the six-cylinder version is identical. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can sneak an O-ring into that thing without... Uh, damaging it so we'll get tearing on this thing and uh, show you what we got going well it's escalating rapidly we've got the engine cover off I'm down to the timing belt which I think we're gonna put a timing belt in this because uh, I don't know that it's ever been replaced so and we'll probably just go ahead and pull the pump since we're this far and I'm gonna have all this off um, but we'll st I'll still show you how you can sneak that in and out on the vehicle. Um, it's kind of tricky how you do it. Okay, so we're on this here pump. We've got it on the bench. So if you look down in here, you can see the O-ring sticking out right there. What I've done, these two bolts, I've loosened them just enough I can see the O-ring. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to reach in here. I'm going to tear that o-ring out. A lot of times the o-ring just breaks because the thing is so hard. But essentially if you can get that o-ring to tear like that, then all you have to do is just kind of go around it and you can just peel it out of there like so. in bad shape and it's a little bit harder to do this on the vehicle obviously because you can't get to the back side of the pump and you can't see the bottom of it but you can spray like carburetor cleaner or something on it and it'll actually uh, cause the o-ring to release but you get your o-ring out of there so I've got all three pieces And then essentially what you do is you take your new o-ring you go over that first because that's the hardest thing to get over and you actually just start working it and stretch it and be very careful don't let it clip on any sharp edges you stretch that o-ring around and then I like to exercise it as much as I can just to get it untwisted now ring snapped in there but it's up on the bolts so then what you do is you take the two long bolts, so you have your long bolts on this bracket right here, and you're going to put that back on because now those are in on the correct side of the o-ring and that's what's going to hold the head of your pump. This is the head and uh, essentially what you're trying to do is not let it come back so far that the piston falls out when it's on the vehicle. And then you'll just do that. And then what I do, I pull these out now, and that'll snap right into place, and then just put them right back in. Like so. And then that's snapped right into place. Then what I do is I stop right here, and I actually get some PB blaster or something to lube that o-ring with and I lube that o-ring real good so it won't cut it and then all you have to do is carefully uh, put the pump head back down just like that the pump head is down and you got your new o-ring installed 
So you can do that on the vehicle. I've done it on Dodges. I've done it on motorhomes. I've done it on a lot of different rotary pump uh, diesel engines. So good luck out there. Forklifts all back together. Runs like a champ. No leaking. We got a project going on over here. This is my son Sterling. What's global of the global? Yeah. Global. Do I hit global? We can hit global or Asian or foreign or no, German or he's key. so Sterling's never run a scan tool ever. Ever. He's <laughs> never and I just said, go plug it in. If you can turn your iPhone on or your cell phone, you can you can do this. What did you turn the key off for? It says turn key off. It did? For 10 seconds, then turn key on. Oh, then press enter. Chuck at me, I just push enter. <laughs> I, I didn't count, but whatever. I am readiness. Read codes. Race codes. So, readiness, huh? So he's reading code right now on his Honda. Little Honda. He loves this car. He thinks it's so great. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't buy one. If you have one, sell it. He has a VW diesel too and he likes it better. We uh, got all supported onboard readiness tests are complete. Use the down arrow to view tests. <gasps> what did your test say? Misfire monitor okay. Fuel system monitor okay. What are your test results? Not right? applicable. Catalyst. Uh oh. Yeah. Is that bad? That's emission violation. What else? Oh, we live in Arizona. That's fine. No cam fault though, right? I don't see anything. Uh, How many codes are there? Oxygen sensor. I don't know. I'm not counting. <laughs> oxygen sensor. Uh, I catalyst. guess that's the bottom. So it was only a few. So now press back page. Race yes. You race? Yes, it raced that. Yes, Sterling, that clears the light, man. Yes, are you sure? Yes. I'm not sure. Yes. I'll never be sure. Please wait. Enter. Yes. Key on. Yes. Yes. Now it's now it's circling the drain. <gasps> the command is sent. Okay, now back page. Back pa No, let's see. What do you got? View data. View data. Let's view some data. Let's see what our data looks like. PID. It's got a hundred of them. Display data. Yeah, it's got 99. Start it up. Start it? Just hit the starter button. Start? Start. Look at that. No check engine. What do you got, Ran? Where'd you get that little harness? Is mama gonna whoop on you? Is mama gonna whoop on you? You look like a you look like you're in puppy jail today with that on. Yeah, you look like, like, hey, I got a leash. Hey, hey. Just got a call from a buddy of mine who's been out wheeling today in his Jeep. I guess he broke a knuckle. So we've got the tow truck fired up. On my way to pick up Jimmy. And uh, we're gonna go get this thing to the rescue before it gets dark. Okay, we have uh, found our people. Now they're going to lead us up here where this jeep is stuck in a crew box. <laughs> Exciting, aren't you? Yes, fun. Always fun. Last time we came out here, it's kind of a rough ride. Now it's kind of nice, huh? Kind of like. Now we're like smoothing the bumps. We're like wallering. Wood, 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 I, can still, wood. I can still feel my ribs. <laughs> Charlie horses in the belly, right? So hopefully we can get up here before it gets dark. I think the heaters work good. It feels warm. Yeah, it does. Shouldn't 
go in. I was gonna say, so it's got back, a snake name. Back in the day, I belonged to a Jeep club called the Sidewinders. And uh, all of our trails were named after snakes and venomous snakes too. So yeah, it's kinda, kinda one of those crazy things. I think we have found the broken Jeep. There's more than one. Yeah, it looks like uh, they have friends. You gotta have someone watch a Jeep. They will burn them to the ground out here. It was the I rock. I thought I did because I was driving. All of a sudden, I was. Brrr. It was the rock before this one. Yeah. You, you hit something. You definitely it on hit something. something. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bummer. It happens though. Yeah. What are you doing, Pooch? like that. He did. It's He's, gonna be dark by the time that's, we die. I know. That's boogie. So here's what he broke. This is his brand new steering setup that he just put on, and uh, it basically busted right off the knuckle. Bad deal. So we'll follow, Brad. Sounds good. What? Nothing. I thought Jim was out here just trying to catch the rollover on the film. Trying to catch the rollover? Yeah. The rollover would be you. No, that. <laughs> the rollover of that. <laughs> Not this. 
<laughs> I bet it tows it out on its side just as good as it does on the back wheels. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't all night, huh, Brad? Thanks to you. <laughs> hey, be safe. Thank you. I'll catch you later. Appreciate it. We'll find a knuckle and get that old girl fixed. That'll be the plan. Okay, so uh, it's time with, for a burger. With, with a little bit of discussing with Jim, he's like, "Yeah, it's Sunday night. Let's go get steak burgers from uh, what is it? Chay Bones. Chay Bones this is like mine and Jimmy's little Sunday night treat." So then Brad, he uh, was the guy with the Jeep that we towed out, and he's like, "Yeah, where are you guys going for dinner? I'll buy you dinner." So we're going to get us a burger. So they do a, a burger where they grind all their steak from the week. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a special. They're probably out because it's this late, but yeah. that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What'd you get there? Chicken cordon bleu. Same deal. Extra large. Jimmy's steak and potatoes. That's it. <laughs> I don't know where the small chickens were.